this is a tip that involves conditional formatting. Um, as a, you could use it along with filtering a list, or you could use it instead of filtering a list. And the basic idea can, is can, to can you increase the view size? Here, let me let me make the in just a little bit. So the basic idea is you've got some data, and this is kind of uh, this is just some client stuff I'm working with. It's just some it's like a random set of product data, but this could be a list of issues uh, like uh, project issues or milestones or action items or anything like that. And the the idea is that you could you know of course I could select this and uh, put a filter on it and you know start messing around if I want to find a certain product I could start doing that. But um, but this is a this is an alternative to, alternative to doing that. So let me turn the filter back off. I don't know if you guys caught that keyboard shortcut, but um, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about that some other time. So, so here's how it works. So let's say that um, I'm looking for this Hob cover thing, and I know that I know I'm looking for Hob, right? So I can just type in Hob, and it highlights all of the rows that have that in there. And you can see this data is all messed up because I've just copied and pasted it a bunch of times. So it's going to keep giving me this really even distribution, but it wouldn't normally be that way. Um, you could take something else. I could take a product number or SKU. And you know, type in like SK part of this, like six eight should do it. Um, and actually, I guess I selected the same thing all over again. Let me let me pick a different one. Let me just actually type or put one in here, um, different number. So you, you can see what's happening is that each time I add something to the search box, it highlights cells uh, in the data. Actually, it highlights entire rows. It doesn't care about, um, I could do it with in individual cells, but personally, I kind of like it when it just throws the line across the whole, the whole table. And if you delete uh, from the search box here, then you don't, have anything, um, you don't have anything highlighted anymore. So I like this because you can see the data that you're trying to find, but you can also see the data that, that you're not trying to find. And sometimes what you'll notice is like you should be finding something, but you're not, or the reverse. And uh, so I just like that, especially if you're on the phone, like in a client call, and you're trying to look up a bunch of issues, for example. This is a nice way to do it because you can always see all the issues, but it allows you to focus on just a, on just a, a couple that you're looking for. So the way it works is, just really briefly, is that I've, I've got a, a name. You probably can't read this very well, but there's a range called search box, and that's just this range here of merged cells. And if we look at some of the conditional formatting, um, what you'll see here is that I'm using that named range. Uh, this will be hard to read. Probably almost impossible to read. Hang on a second here. Let me see if I can paste it. Um. OK, so this is the formula that's in. I don't know if that's any better. This is a formula that's actually doing all the work. And in a nutshell, I'm not going to dissect the whole thing. But what's happening is that we're just using um, i got to remind myself of this. We're using the search function to find what I'm typing into the search box. And I'm just using concatenation. I'm just jamming together a whole bunch of columns. I don't even care really how they look. I'm just jamming you know, column A to column B to column C. I'm just jamming all those together. And then I'm looking inside that text um, to see whether I, I get a hit. And most of the code here of this formula is just Error checking so that when you don't have anything in the search box, nothing is selected in the nothing is highlighted in the data. So um, it's not that hard to set up. I've actually got a video on, on this on, in the tips area of, on the Excel Jet site that walks you through it. It's called how, how to highlight rows uh, with conditional formatting. Um, but yeah, that's my tip. All right, great tip. That's awesome. That's pretty smart. Um, yeah. Let me stop right. sharing. Yeah. So you know what? Okay. So he, here, here's how I'm thinking: is yeah, thanks for taking us into conditional formatting and the thought process of you know, things you want to find and things you ought to be finding. Mm -hmm. So the whole thought process that's that's where the juicy stuff is. It's not in, you know so much in this fancy formula. So that's why I'm giving it a five. Um, and then also the idea of highlighting an entire row as opposed to just individual cells in a column or a row. So that is really good. Really good. About um, building really useful tools rather than having some trick that's 
you. You know? All right. So, there are those hot tips. All right. 